So what if I told you that Titanfall 3 could be revealed in the very near future? When it comes to Titanfall 3, a lot of fans and a lot of gamers just at this point don't believe any of the leaks and rumors that come with Titanfall 3's development. Now, don't get me wrong. I've definitely done my fair share of the game's going to come out. The game's not going to come out. It's in development. It's not in development. There's just not a lot of tangible information to go off of that actually makes people believe that Titanfall 3 could actually be coming. But it does seem that over the past few weeks, it seems that Titanfall 3 actually could be in development and respawn entertainment could be revealing it within the next six months so today guys that's what we'll be covering we'll be covering everything we know about the development cycle of titanfall 3 as well the secrecy in the back end of respawn entertainment's development and just breaking down will we actually get titanfall 3 be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you're excited for titanfall 3 do you actually think it's going to come out do you think it's real so drop a like on this video and let's get into it before we break down titanfall 3's development and the possible release date let me take you back to where it all started in 2014 with Titanfall 1. The original Titanfall was released in 2014, and Titanfall is a first-person shooter developed by Respawn Entertainment and set in a futuristic universe. The game revolves around the conflict between the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation, or the IMC, as well as the Militia. Now, in this game, players can pilot the Agile pilots equipped with the advanced weaponry and the ability to call a massive Titan to help aid them in their endeavors. The gameplay seamlessly integrates the on-foot and mech combat combat, offering a unique and fast-paced experience. And sadly, as a lot of you guys know, the original Titanfall lacked a traditional single-player campaign focusing primarily on the multiplayer modes. And some may ask, why did the original Titanfall not have a campaign? Well, it's actually pretty funny that way back in 2013, Respawn Entertainment's Vince Sempella actually explained why the original Titanfall wouldn't have a campaign. He basically broke down, we make these single-player missions that take up the focus of the studio that takes a huge six months to make. And for players just to run through it in eight minutes he said and how many people actually finish the single player it's a small percentage it's like everyone plays through the first level but five percent of the people actually finish the game he then went on to say so really you want to split up the team they're two different games they're balanced differently they're scoped differently but people spend hundreds and hundreds of hours on multiplayer experiences versus the little time possible rushing to the end in a single player game so why should i focus all my resources there to us it made sense to put it here now everybody sees all those resources and the multiplayer is better for us it made sense so for us today it's actually it's kind of interesting I, I actually went back and looked it up and i really just wanted to pull some of the statements that vince and Pella made like back in the day it's definitely for sure pretty interesting but now we fast forward two years and then we have the absolute success blockbuster titanfall 2 released in 2016 titanfall 2 builds on the predecessor by also introducing the first compelling single player campaign alongside the robust multiplayer options that players have to choose from the narrative falls follows Jack Cooper, a rifleman who becomes a pilot after his mentor's death. The bond between Cooper and his Titan BT-7274 is the central part to the storyline. So really in Titanfall 2, they kind of set up the future of the series with the campaign uh, built on in Titanfall 2. Now this single player campaign explores the themes and consequences of war. They definitely built upon the multiplayer features, the Titans, the weapons, and some of the other enhanced mobility options, as well building on the dynamic and exhilarating gameplay. Titanfall 2 definitely deserved its critical acclaim for its engaging story, the innovative mechanics, and the well-balanced multiplayer experiences. And really, that game was released, like I said, all the way back in 2016, and since then, we've just had Titanfall 2. And really, many fans and many gamers around the world have just been dying for any new information in regards to the next Titanfall installment. And that's kind of where it brings us today. We're talking about Titanfall 3 and the potential leaks and rumors in regards to the release date, the gameplay details, and just any new information that we've got on the next game. And the truth is, is with Respawn Entertainment's blockbuster Apex Legends, and really just the spinoff of the Titanfall series, that's kind of what Apex Legends is. Honestly, Apex Legends could be the Titanfall 3 that we've been waiting for, and they just reskinned it and gave it another name. But really, this brings us to the main talking point. Is Titanfall 3 actually going to be released? And is Respawn Entertainment actually working on Titanfall 3? So from some of the new information and leaks that we've got covering Titanfall 3's potential release, date. I'm reading off of playercounter.com where they did an article basically breaking down the potential release date for Titanfall 3 as well as some of its development cycle and just the potential for the game's release. And honestly from this article the information is really really broad. There's not like a lot to break down. Basically what they said as of today there's no official release date and times for Titanfall 3. Respawn Entertainment has confirmed that the game is in development but hasn't actually revealed any specific release date or window yet. They then go on to say Titanfall 3's 
gameplay. Titanfall 3 is expected to continue the franchise's legacy of fast-paced mech-based combat. With some of the mixed and agile pilot gameplay, new maps, weapons, and titans are anticipated, along with the game's mechanics and graphics will be improved. Players can expect a blend of intense ground combat and strategic titan battles. With new gameplay elements to keep the experience fresh and engaging, the narrative is also expected to be delving deeper into the Titanfall universe, offering a rich story to accompany the action. They then go on to say Titanfall 3 is likely to offer several additions to purchase. The standard edition will include the base game, while the deluxe edition may offer additional in-game content and exclusive skins, weapons, or early access for certain features. For the most ardent fans, a collector's edition could include a physical item such as a statue, an art book, or other memorabilia. These editions cater to the different budgets and varying levels of fandom and interest for the additional content. So like I said, that article really didn't cover a lot of information, but it did kind of confirm some features that we could see in Titanfall 3. So like I said previously, Apex Legends actually could have been the Titanfall 3 that we had coming. If you guys remember, sometime late last year, there was an article that came out basically breaking down a leak in regards to Titanfall 3, basically stating that Respawn Entertainment worked on Titanfall 3 for 10 months before pivoting to Apex Legends. And this leak actually came from an ex-developer. And have you, this article comes from IGN.com, and it basically says that Respawn Entertainment worked on Titanfall 3 in earnest for 10 months before ditching it for Apex Legends, a former developer has just revealed. It goes on to say this former dev who became the narrative lead designer for Titanfall 3. Now have you, that was before Titanfall 3 was cut. They had much work on the sequel, had already been done. And then Titanfall 2 came out, did what it did, and we were like, okay, we're gonna make Titanfall 3. And we worked on Titanfall 3 for about 10 months, right? In earnest, right? We had new tech for it. We had multiple missions going. We had the first playable part, which was on par to be just as good, if not better than whatever we had done before. But I'll make this clear, incrementally better. It wasn't revolutionary. And that's the, that's the key, right? And we were feeling pretty decent about it, but not the same feeling as Titanfall 2. We were making something revolutionary. You know what I mean? So like I said, just kind of all over the place. I mean, this was from one of the ex-developers at Respawn Entertainment, and he basically confirmed that the game was in development for almost a year, 10 months. And then it seems they ended up canning it and moving on to Apex Legends, which as it may, obviously a blockbuster hit. But really, it's up for debate. Is Titanfall 3 actually still in development? Well, the truth is, I just think that we'll never know unless Respawn comes out themselves and actually says it. We've been going over the same information since Titanfall 2 came out all the way back in 2016. And at this point, it's just a rinse and repeat situation. Like I said previously, I think Apex Legends was probably the Titanfall 3 that we were going to get. And then they pivoted it to a battle royale during the huge uproar of the battle royale genre. But yeah, definitely unfortunate news. If you actually think Titanfall 3 is coming, I honestly don't think it is. But well, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up with this video. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Titanfall 3 is actually happening? Do you think we'll actually see something from Respawn in the future in regards to Titanfall 3? Be sure to let me know below. Please drop a like on this video. Subscribe with your notifications turned on so you never miss a future upload. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Zach. I'll catch you in the next one.